Latu. Taken by Coruscant. Now Campbell Gillard, both front rowers for Penrith. They've put their heads down when they've come back into the game in the second half. The Panthers by two. Somehow, Cartwright, backhander. Now to Wonga Blake. He only has to draw and pass Stewart. He does that. And what tennis a Leslie arc. He might have iced the comeback of the season. What an effort from Penrith. Oh, that's a brilliant ball again. Some of the passing in the last 10 or 15 minutes from the Panthers has been sublime. And this is straight running from Blake off Bryce Cartwright and Wonga Blake summing up correctly as they did in the previous try, drawing Brett Stewart to put him out of play defensively before putting the try scorer away. They even veered back towards Brett Stewart, so he was no chance of getting to what Tenny's the Lesney arc. Those three lads you see there, they won an under-20s premiership together in 2013, and that was pretty much the right side attacking combination. Cartwright, Wunga Blake and Dullin Mateen Zalesny Ark. And they used to do that against their own age group all the time, but you just don't see it in the NRL because I don't know, they get up in the top grade, they feel a little bit claustrophobic, they feel as though they've got to be a little bit more controlled. Um, it's just nice this afternoon to see them once they got their heads into the game or once they just worried about playing to be able to produce that sort of football. That combination's been coming through the system at Panthers for four or five years. And they just might have produced a try that gets them a very important win. Would you say, Matt, a tale of two halves here? Yeah, well, That's... Panthers trailed 24 to 4 into the second half. And conceded that, that last try early. That's right. Well, it's a big kick for Peter Wallace here, who didn't come into the game as the number one picket goal kicking. He's one of seven local juniors in this Panthers team today. Peter Wallace, Campbell Gillard, Moylan, Wateni, Zelezniak, Cartwright, Cleary and Leota. And this is a big play coming up. He tries to steer it towards the post, but it swings across the face. So still time on the clock. Four minutes, in fact, and it's a six-point margin. Quickly down to Brad Fittler. Yeah, still four minutes to go. That kick would have been nice. At City training, I ran up and down the field with... Bryce Cartwright, and although that looked like a high-risk pass, that flick pass he does looks Wait better up. than his normal pass. Quite odd. No, hasn't gone the 10, nope. even in the air from Dylan Walker, so that'll be a penalty back on halfway. The ball can go past the 10-metre line on the full and blow back, but that didn't go close. Well, it's now six tries to four in favour of the Panthers. Their goal kicking hasn't been that great. And they still only lead by six. You would think now, with three minutes left on the clock, they should be able to come in and ice this and get a field goal and extend the lead to seven. I'm curious, uh, Gus, as to why young Nathan Cleary hasn't ki hasn't kicked. He, he, in his 20 matches in the NYC, he's kicked 109 goals. I'm staggered. He barely misses. Well, he's had one heck of a game. I'm flabbergasted. Jamie, On a few fronts, I think. I'm <laughs> speechless. I'm without speech. <laughs> it's Isaiah Yo. Maybe they just didn't want to put the pressure on the young fella. Just let him play his football. I can understand that. Well, Manly will be very disappointed here if they can't find the six points to send it to Golden Point. They might need one more than that. They won't have an opportunity now because Moylan has stepped up. And as he did in the uh, match they played last year here at Brookvale in round 10, he seals a field goal. That one gave Penrith a one-point win. This one will definitely secure with the two points. Yeah, very professionally done. Nice and calm. Time's From the time they got the penalty, that field goal would have been on their mind. They set up nicely. And what they did, they set up some real attacking options either side. So Manny weren't thinking about coming through and pressuring.